street as I was coming down the escalator, I found this tunnel. It looks absolutely amazing. You would nearly forget that you're right in the middle of London. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, I'm gonna wait for someone to walk into the frame now. Where shall we head off to? Look at what I found. Look at that beast. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So before we jump straight into the meat of this video, make sure to watch until the end because I'll be doing another round of Instagram feature. So I'll go through some of the pictures that you guys have been taking. So if you also want to be featured in a future video, all you have to do is take photos with a mobile phone and tag your best ones with the upside lens hashtag. Right, get yourselves comfortable, grab yourself a cup of coffee and enjoy the video. Good morning everyone. So it's currently 5.50 a.m. and I'm heading towards the train station. But before I tell you why I'm heading to the train station, little rant, right? It's nearly the end of April. It's nearly May time in a couple of weeks. And it's too celsius two freaking degrees guys it's absolutely freezing that's dedication for you guys <laughs> so basically to say a big thank you to all the the subs we we slightly over a thousand subs now which is absolutely incredible i thought i'd do a special video and take you around london hence why i'm heading towards the train station but um, i'll tell you a bit more when we get there so i thought i'd take you guys around london uh, for a bit of a mashup a special video so no scripts no no plan whatsoever i'm literally heading to london with the xperia 1 mark 5 and do a street photography a bit of everything really uh, do a mashup of uh, vocal lengths different styles different techniques just just a fun vlog really so again not planned so as soon as i get to liverpool street station uh, i'm just going to grab a tube ticket and we'll see where i end up and two hours later we're in london there's something that really never fails to amaze me in London is just how busy it all is. I mean, no matter the time of the day or, you know, so many people, <laughs> it's unreal. I mean, Norwich is not a small city by any means, but London is just on another level. Like I said earlier, um, this video is completely unplanned. I literally jumped on a train, got to London, and um, yeah, let's see where this uh, little travel card takes us. Uh, currently, I'm in King's Cross, so um, yeah, behind me, you've got the actual train station um, where Harry Potter gets on the train and all that, you know, platform three, three and a half quarters, whatever it is. I'm not a big fan of Harry Potter, to be honest. Um, so yeah, King's Cross. I heard there's uh, some nice bits around in the area, so we're just gonna have a look. And let's face it, sun is out, blue sky all around, for now anyway. Um, so let's make the most out of it. Not really sure what's going on there, but they're pretty loud. I think I may have spoken a bit too soon about the weather. <laughs> Typical. So I've never been here before, but it looks really cool. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna switch over to the action cam and then as soon as uh, we find something to shoot, um, you guys will see it. So it didn't take long. I just found this little bridge with um, them buildings in the background. That looks pretty nice. Uh, it should be making for a nice composition actually. So I'm just gonna set my camera to 85 mils. Uh, here we go, 85 mil and currently at uh, 800 for the second. I'm probably gonna need to step back a bit. I'm gonna try to get that bridge and the buildings and the steps and the stairs in the background. Nice. So like I said before in a previous video, make sure you do you make the most out of your lenses. So to avoid any unnecessary crop in post, I'll take a vertical and a horizontal photo just to you know to cover all angles really so that is really sick like mirror like kind of reflections uh, you've got the red building in the background that really contrasts with the the one uh, just behind it as well uh, with a bit of greenery on the side so let's see what we can do with that oh that's sick yeah i'm gonna wait for someone to walk into the frame now and that should be really nice Sick. Now I didn't go very far at all, but I just found this row of boats there and they look really nice with the reflections. I'm just waiting for the train to get past and see if we can get something nice here. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, so I managed to get my train in the end. Um, not the best shot. Uh, I could have composed it a bit better, but at least that's the train. That's my reflection. I'm happy. So I'm now heading back to King's Cross uh, tube station. I've seen on Instagram a lot of people taking photos of Baker Street's uh, tube station. So I'm heading back that way and see what we can get there. Just like that, we're at Baker Street. Now let's go and find what I saw on Instagram. I think it might be upstairs. I'm not too sure to be honest. I've never been in this station in my life. So let's go and find out. Nice, so I managed to get some sick shots overall. Um, I just couldn't talk really because you could hear literally a fly. Yeah, me talking would have been a bit awkward. So, but yeah, really nice photos. Really impressed with them. Now onto the next spot. Where shall we head off to now? Right, plan of action. I'm gonna head towards uh, South Kensington. Uh, see if I can pop into the Natural History Museum for uh, some awesome shots in there. Then the plan is to head towards um, Canary Wharf and hopefully, fingers crossed, I can get into your absolutely amazing building. But we'll, we'll see how that pans out. Shall we go shopping, guys? Look at what I found. Look at that beast. Wow. That's a car and a half, man. Oh, really? I don't know if you guys can see with the, through the reflections of the glass, but freaking hell. Anyway, <laughs> there it is, National History Museum, but man, that looks busy as hell. There's like groups of uh, kids, so probably school visit. Wow, that's going to be interesting. Wow, so yeah, it is busy guys, really busy. Man, this place is stunning though, absolutely stunning. Just as I remember, I might gonna try to go upstairs, see if I can get a shot of the big dino at the top. Who would have thought you'd find so many cocks in the Natural History Museum? Right, so I've just set up my ND filter uh, on top of the camera. So now what I'm trying to do is a long exposure to get rid of most of the people in the shop because as you can see, there's about 10 and a half million people down there. So I'm just going to play now with uh, different exposure times. So three, four, five, maybe 10 seconds, see the result and um, you guys will see you on screen. So I managed to get a few shots in there. Uh, whether I like them or not is a different story. <laughs> I'll have to see what they look like in um, in Lightroom. Right now to the next adventure. I'm just going to jump back on the tube and head out to the next destination. Seriously, that has to be the biggest croissant I've ever seen in my life. Wow! Freaking hell! Things you find in London. And off we go again. Piccadilly line, change to Green Park, and then towards Canary Wharf. Yep, Green Park. So if you've been to London and uh, specifically Canary Wharf, you'll know there's a really, really nice, well, actually there's two really nice exits to the tube station. So that's one of them. And um, I'll see if I can do, let's have a look. I can do a wide shot, so 24 mil, uh, and I'm gonna try to kind of underexpose it. If that makes sense, you'll see what I mean in a second. Uh, so we'll do a landscape. Let's have a look. Oh, joys of uh, not checking your settings. I'm still on the timer from the uh, Natural History Museum, so I'm going to back on single shooting. There you go. And 
There we are. Cool, now let's go to the second exit. You walk back all the way to the other side of the station and there should be a set of stairs. Go up there and you'll see the second exit. And you'll see what I mean, it's actually stunning. Like architecture-wise, absolutely love it. And that's the one. So this one, you really have to use the wide, uh, ultra wide angle if you want to make the most out of it. Um, it's not as busy as the other one, so I might have to wait for a few people to get on the, on the stairs and then um, I'll take the shot. Take a couple of shots, low to the ground first. Um, I don't know if you guys can see anything. And I'm gonna, at the moment I'm on a 16 mil and I'm probably gonna try to underexpose it. That should be, so one, 200, yeah, 200 for the second. And now it's trying to get as stable as possible and take the shot. It's just a shame there's no one actually going on the escalator. Like I said in my previous videos, guys, it's always about trying to find a different angle. So I always play with different focal lengths. So I've tried 16 mil, 24 mil uh, from the left, from the right, from the center. And, you know, practice makes it better. I keep saying it, guys, but yeah, I can't say it enough. Keep trying new things, keep different angles, different techniques, and uh, I'm sure you'll get something absolutely amazing. So before we head off to the place that I've been talking about, I'm just gonna go and grab a uh, bite to eat because I'm absolutely starving. So far, a little update on the steps. Wow, we're actually 12 steps short of uh, 15,000 steps so far. <laughs> so my little legs are tired, so I'm gonna go and sit down and grab something to eat and uh, we'll be heading off to the next destination after that. Are you guys the same as me? Like, too much choice and you just don't know what to go for. Like, don't give me choice, give me one flavor, one brand, <laughs> and that's it. Uh, I mean, Fanta bubbles, no bubbles. I mean, sugar, no sugar. Right, let's go for Fanta Zero. Oh my god, now, oh, peach actually. Peach, here we go. Before I take in, guys, I just wanted to, to say a massive thank you to all of you who've been subscribing, and watching the, the, the videos, and liking the content. It, it's just mine is blown. I mean, four months ago, it started from zero, and here we are. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you click the, the subscribe button and the like button, it really helps the channel. Now, a while ago, I made a video when I said what my plans were for a thousand subscribers. And ideally, I wanted to take you abroad, somewhere, you know, in a different country to do uh, a bit of uh, POV, uh, street photography, and, you know, all kind of photography. Problem is, this absolute moron here realized that my passport actually expires in four months. So it's not just a case of like renewing your passport as you do. I have to go to the French embassy because, in case you haven't realized yet, I'm French. So I have to go to the French Embassy, I have to book an appointment, I have to uh, book, um, fill out all the paperwork, swap out my passport, then it takes weeks literally to get the, uh, the passport back. So I need to get on that and ASAP really. <laughs> and, and then we can start planning trips abroad and because that is literally my dream like, like I explained before on the channel. So, um, so yeah, that's that. So now I'm gonna get taking my food because otherwise it's gonna get cold and then we're gonna get going to the next place which I was talking about. Um, hopefully, fingers crossed, we can get in the building. If not, then we'll, um, I don't know, we'll have to find a plan B. Anyway, I'm gonna get my food now, I'm starving. Guys, cross for our place, roof gardens. So it's literally like a little oasis right in the middle of the city. And um, yeah, it's my first time here, so I'm just gonna walk around and see what we can find. This place is awesome. You would nearly forget that you're right in the middle of London. It's like in uh, being in a little mini jungle. <laughs> There's one thing I never actually do, and you know, I always praise people for trying new things, is to do close-up shots and micro shots and all that. So I'm gonna try to see if I can find uh, some good subjects and see how we would get on with it. These little ferns here look really nice. Um, so let's do a, let's try with a 24 mil first. And 180 for the second. And see what we can get.
Right, so I'm going to take your last photo and if I do 24 mil and I'm going to try to expose because obviously we've got the shadows here, the, the green area and the glass which is highly reflective. So I'm going to try to expose for the highlights and then I'll recover the rest in post. So let's compose this picture. I want a bit of that metal frame, metal frame thing and the buildings and a bit of greenery kind of like do half and half. Oh, there we go. Let's have a look. Yep, yeah, perfect. Cool. So yeah, guys, if you're in the area, like ever, in Canary Wharf, highly recommend coming here, popping in for like five, 10 minutes. It's really relaxing, really nice, and not something that you normally get to see in London, like a kind of a little jungle sort of thing. But anyway, now I'm heading back to the tube and we're gonna move on to the next location. So literally, as I was coming down the escalator from the um, uh, roof garden, I found this tunnel. Looks absolutely amazing. Look at that. So let's see if we can do anything with this. Uh, 24 mil, and we're gonna half shut press in the middle there. When that person gets into the frame, we we'll take the photo. Try to center it properly. So I was on my way to the next train and uh, I found this little tunnel. It looks like an old 2D too. So let's see if we can do anything with that. So I'm gonna go in, let's have a look. Manual for a start, that'd be a good start. And yeah, go, I'm gonna go on ultra wide 16 mil. Yeah, that works. And I'm gonna go with ISO 200 on this one because it's a bit dark and 120th of a second nice right guys if you're gonna do photos of big ben right <laughs> if you come on holiday here don't just be a tourist don't take the photo from the entrance of the tube station right follow me i'll show you where to take really nice pictures from so if you come under the bridge so you cross the bridge from the station towards the london night and then you go under the bridge and that is the best spot obviously it's really nice at sunset but today we're definitely not getting a sunset um, you'll have to probably wait for a shot because it's really busy there's always someone crossing so <laughs> we'll do our best obviously a lot of people know about this place and as you can see they have been a shot taken here but um, yeah we're just gonna have a wait and uh, we'll take the shot when it's ready right so basically started chucking it down now so i'm gonna basically head back home because it's not quite what i had in mind for this vlog but to be honest i've been to so many places today and i've been up since five o'clock so i think i deserve a nice rest so um i'll see you guys when i get back I hope you guys enjoyed this little trip video as much as I enjoyed making it. So make sure to drop a like if you did and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. It really helps the channel a bunch. Now, I haven't done an Instagram feature in quite some time so I'm expecting to see a shitload of new photos on there. But before we go and have a look, again, if you guys want to be featured in a following video, just tag your best shots with the upside lens hashtag next time you upload them on Instagram easy so like i said earlier it's been a while so i haven't checked on the uh, the hashtag in uh, in some time let's put it that way um but i was scrolling past it earlier and there's some awesome shots so the first one um that really really caught my eye is this one and that is from uh mikhail nyquist sorry if i butchered your name there but um that's an awesome picture i think it's a dog um in the snow but it's like beautiful lighting beautiful scenery uh, really nice kind of um, uh, composition like well done mate that is a really really nice uh, photo and that was taken with with an Xper Xperia 1 Mark II so it just goes to show that it really doesn't matter what device you use as long as you know you've got a plan shot you've uh, you work on your composition and you work on your colors afterwards but like such a beautiful shot wow really impressed um, next one, let's have a look. Um, we've got so many, it's unreal. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
Uh, let's scroll, let's scroll, let's scroll, let's scroll. And next one, that kind of uh, catch my eye. I like that. Neon light there. Quite simple, but I like that. That's, oh, that's from Trevor. <laughs> Hi, Trevor. So really like that. And uh, never fail to disappoint, mate. And next, where are we going to get? Oh, I like this. That is, again, from Trevor. <laughs> um, <laughs> it just turns out that Trevor kind of like, does the same type of photography that I do, so we can't get along in that sense. Um, next one, again, uh, let me guess, Trevor, yeah. <laughs> really nice shot. Wow, I like this as well. And that's not Trevor. That is, sorry about your name again, but that's uh, Jar Langrio Cotiva. Sorry if I, again, if I butchered your name, but that is awesome. Um, I like pictures of train. Um, I'm not like a, a big fan of trains, you know, like, I'm not like one of them, you know, big fans of train, but um, it's really, really good. I like the masking that's been done around the train to highlight the, the front, the nose of it. Uh, I like the reflections. I like the composition as well. Really nice, really nice, really nice. And I was taken on, it doesn't really say, um, but yeah, no, it's really nice, like that. And let's carry on. What else? Oh, little monkeys there. Oh, let me guess, that was taken in Bali by any chance? Uh, no, Kuala Lumpur, yeah, and that was from Rain rain Shadow area. Really nice picture. I like the contrast of the, the uh, colours, red, blue, and then you've got the monkeys in front, and um, my guess is you've used bokeh mode. Yeah, bokeh mode, you can tell a little bit there. What device was used? Uh, doesn't really say, it was an Xperia, but it doesn't say which one. But yeah, no, really nice, well done. Um, let's pick another one. Oh, that is, yeah, that is Thailand. That's a Thai airport. I recognize that any day. I've been there so many times. That is from uh, Uyghur Durrani. And that is from, um, yeah, from Thailand. Time to travel. And I was uh, shot with an XP of Walmart 5. So yeah, really nice. Like the colors, like the composition. And, you, and what really is emphasized in this picture is the amount of people going to the airport as well as all the uh, the people sitting on the side there and the light coming from the side and leading lines right in the middle. Really nice, well done. And we do a last one quickly. Uh, let's go up, let's scroll up, up, up. Uh, I like this ball tray here. That is again from Rain Shadow area. Um, really nice clean shot there, well done. And yeah, that's pretty much um, for this week really guys. And uh, let's, oh yeah, I like this. That is, again, from Rain Shadow area. Mate, you're doing the most of this future. Uh, <laughs> and proper nice shot there with nice bucket as well. Really nice, nice crisp. And, oop, there you go, I've liked it as well. Um, really nice shots there. Again, I don't know what, um, yeah, I don't know. Oh, Xperia Pro I, that's what you're using. Yeah, really nice. Well done, mate. Well, that's all for this week, though. Uh, but thanks for sending for... Um, not sending the photos, but tagging your photos under the Upside Lens um, hashtag. It kind of inspires me when I see your pictures and it gives me ideas as well as you guys when uh, you see them and it might give you some ideas and go out there and shoot some, uh, some of the styles that you've seen. So yeah, so yeah, well done guys and thank you. Right, that's about it for this week. As I can already tell, this video is going to be a little bit longer than usual. So thank you so much for sticking around and be sure to stay tuned as I've got some awesome stuff coming very soon. So thanks again and I'll see you all in the next one.